His condition causes him to want to physically and emotionally hurt himself. You ready, buddy? His, his brain will tell him that it's going to hurt when he bites his fingers, and his brain's also at the same time telling him that he has to bite his fingers. It was scary at first when you read up and there's pictures of kids and they've gnawed their lips off and their fingertips are all raw. I think that's what pushed me, myself, to get him out there and get him involved in stuff. Holden's eight. So Holden was born with Leshnihan syndrome. So it presents like cerebral palsy and the way his body doesn't cooperate. His mind's all there. One of the major things is self-harming. Kids will bite, they'll try and injure themselves. Perfect. And have the arm braces on, his hands would be able to get to his mouth and then he would bite on his fingers or he'll try and bite up on his upper arm. So I could take his arm brace off and show you what'll happen. If I was to let go right now, it's like hands instantly to his mouth and he'll try and bite. Even though they feel the pain from biting, they'll just continue to do it until you physically stop them or the episode just passes. Day-to-day -day life, he needs help getting up, getting changed. Um, um, he uses a wheelchair most of the day to get around. So you just have to watch, like, Holden can't physically hold this and push down the, the button. So I took it apart and adapted it so that his accessibility switches will plug into it and he can run it through those switches. So I adapted the game and the toys for him basically so that we could play normal games together instead of just watching TV. Who's gonna win this one? <laughs> Me! Are you catching me? Huh? His body's constantly telling him to harm himself either physically or emotionally so say he his body tells him okay you gotta whack your dad so he'll whack me and then he'll know that it's gonna hurt the person who he hit and they're gonna be upset so you just have to downplay everything and pretend like it doesn't exist and that helps curb the behaviors it's gonna be good enough you watch Okay. I'm always constantly tinkering or trying to tweak things to see how they can work best yeah. for me. I guess this condition's also taught me more patience in dealing with everyday things. Are you done? <laughs> what a tease you are! <laughs> he was born, nothing was wrong. Around three months, he was really floppy still. He wasn't getting the tone and being able to sit up like average kids. And then we started taking them to the doctor. They did genetic testing and found out that it was in fact Leshnian syndrome. It was scary at first when you read up and there's pictures of kids and they've gnawed their lips off and their fingertips are all raw. So I think that's what pushed me, myself, to get him out there and get him involved in stuff. I want to show Holden that he can do whatever his friends do, that his disability doesn't define him. So this is Holden's sledge hockey sled that he uses to play hockey on the ice. We put roller blade wheels on the bottom of it so that he can go play road hockey with his friends. So he's got straps that hold him in, keep his legs down so that he doesn't kick his legs out on either side and catch his feet. Holden's big on sports. If he can cheer for someone against someone else, then he's right into it. He's game for anything, really. You name it, Holden, he'll try it. It's a little dangerous sometimes. Well, I think it's important just to get, get him out there and socialize with other kids and be with his peers. And I grew up playing sports my whole life.
We're kind of uh, live in the moment type of people. If Holden wants to do something, we just make it happen and do whatever we can to try and accomplish it. He's like my best friend. We do everything together. It's hard for me to put into words just the, the bond that we have. I just want Holden to prosper and to be able to achieve what he wants to out of his life. That's really all that you can ask for.